owing to almost would be like a case increase. So for Beijing District conducted the mass testing. In fact, there's concerns that Beijing in may also have to adopt several quarantine measures, while Shanghai pandemic remains tough. In fact, there's concern on China economic growth in the second quarter. Besides, HSBC for obviously after quarter result announcement, while U.S. stock market fell sharply last night, given the impact from foreign set and favorable factors. Hong Kong stock market will suffer pressure again today. Hong Kong stock got a record net inflow of 19 million Hong Kong dollars on Wednesday, of which made a record most net buy again, while China Construction Bank and China Telecom suffered net higher net outflow. On the other hand, although HSBC overall quarter results is in line with expectation, but the C1 ratio also below target level. The group may not start new round of share buyback. Share price fell sharply in both Hong Kong and London market yesterday. Short price trend turned weak. Besides, HSBC Hong Kong business profit fell sharply in the first quarter, while Hansen Bank also bought quarter dividend per share from from one Hong Kong dollars last year to current zero point seven Hong Kong dollars. Local banking stocks are expected to serve pressure in the near term. For the stock pick, China Telco. Since in industrial digitalization is still at investment stage, its profitability is low at current stage. With Expected increasing portion from industrial digitalization, China token EBITDA margin may and will further. However, industrial digitalization will still at high growth stage, which will be China telegram revenue drivers in the coming period. China token net profit is expected to achieve double digital growth for the full year of 2022, with prospective PE of 8 times and dividend yield of 8%. Total current valuation is attractive. Total price is $3.5 and the stock loss is $2.5.